Kulo, Bezat Hashem, in Ha is going to be 525. Please be on time. The Halachot of Modim de Rabbanan. When the Hazan gets up to the Modim of the repetition, and he says the regular text of the Modim, the community has to also be saying Modim. And there's a special text, and that text is called Modim de Rabbanan. Of course, almost every Bet Knesset has it hanging on the walls. Um, for some reason, people have a hard time looking at the Sidu, so you have to have it all, all over the walls, plastered, but uh, that's called Modim de Rabbanan. And every person has to say each and every word of the Modim de Rabbanan, uh, standing up. A lot of times people are sitting down for the Hazara, which is perfectly fine, you're allowed to sit down for the Hazara, but when it comes to Modim de Rabbanan, you're not allowed to say it's sitting. You're supposed to be standing up to think and acknowledge, you have to stand up. And uh, the way the it works is when you first start Modim de Rabbanan, you bow slightly. It's a slight bow. You don't bow like you would in a regular Modim, but uh, a little bit out of respect and out of acknowledgement. At the end of the Beracha, we finish Baruch El HaOdaot, and we don't say Shem Hashem, we don't say Baruch uh, Hata Hashem El HaOdaot, just like that. And some have a custom to bow a little bit, even at the end, but that's not our Minhag. The minhag is to not bow at the end, only in the beginning of the modim de Rabbanan. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.